Okay, so we're gonna be doing cake decorating. This is Chef Martin Gilligan we're here at LA Trade Tech and we're gonna be doing some cake decorating today. Um, I have my cake. I have my buttercream icing here. I got plenty so that my students can have extra. I also have some fondant here rolled out. So, and we can go ahead and pop this in the microwave. It's a little bit firm right now. So um, we also have a rolling pin. We need to have some uh, pallet knives. Okay, can you see the pallet knives? Also, we need a bench scraper. And we need a, a cake wheel. Now, this is a really cool cake wheel. It actually um, separates. So make sure that when you lift it up later, you don't lift it up and have the bottom fall out. It's happened many times before. So we're in the middle of a fire drill, but we're just gonna continue. We know that there's no fire. So I also have some simple syrup. The recipe for simple syrup is just literally a cup of water and a cup of sugar. That's it. It's really a simple recipe. No wonder the name is called simple syrup, right? So I'm, I'm filming right now. We got this thing going, going off. It's crazy, right? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my cake into three layers because we want to make three layers. So what I want to do is I want to get a serrated knife and let me accept. I have one, one or two more people coming in. Let me go ahead and accept them. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now, what I did was when I pulled it out of the oven, I turned it upside down and let it cool upside down so that I have a flat bottom and a flat top, right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, what I might do is, uh, is trim the end. No, I'm going to be all right. I'm just going to, I'm going to get a, a level, um, and then, and then just turn. I'm going to turn my cake just like this. I want to keep it at the same level, the same height, all right? And again, sawing motion, rotating all the way around. Again, it takes a little bit of talent because you don't want to, you don't want to cut, you don't want to be, you know, you, angle of your knife has to be correct, right? Okay, so now I have, I have a beautiful cake as you can see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on a, on a cake board. You want your cake board to be slightly larger than the diameter of your cake, right? And I'm actually gonna trim the cake. I'm going to go ahead and trim it a little bit. So I'm going to go all the way around and just literally trim it because it's remember this two stage method on the cake um, has a lot of sugar in it. So it caramelizes a little bit. So again, it's not burned or anything. It's just, it's really good for like cake crumbs. If you want to make cake pops or whatever. So don't find the alarm. The, uh, they're, they're doing some testing of the of the fire systems in the in the building, but it's just uh, it's just a test. If this had been an actual emergency, right? Have you seen right? If this had been an actual emergency, we could yeah. Um, the emergency broadcast system or something, right? Yeah. That was supposed to be funny, guys. All right. Nobody's laughing. All right. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this over. And then uh, I'll do it again. Now, notice how the cake is really dense. This beautiful, this cake is the, uh, the two steak method is literally the best recipe for like cakes that are moist, that are tender, that are flavorful. And they also are, they're kind of dense so that they're perfect for like stackable, big, huge, giant wedding cakes and stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the next layer. And again, rotating, 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 rotating all the way around, making sure I, I, I maintain a level, right? Because if it's not level, it's not going to be straight, all right? Go. Okay, and then I'm going to just go ahead and slide this underneath. All right, I'm just gonna flip this one over. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and brush each layer of the cake with the simple syrup. Now, if you want, you could actually, if you're, if it's a lemon cake, you can actually add lemon juice to your simple syrup. If you wanted to, you could add like lemon cello. If you wanted to make, uh, if you wanted to add Grand Marnier, you could do that. And he said, you could do that. I just have basic simple syrup here. 
Go ahead and really drench it. Don't don't be shy with the uh, with the simple syrup, right? And chef, what's the purpose of that? This is to make it moist. Okay. Just to moisten it, add flavor, moisture. All professional cake uh, builders always use simple syrup. Very, very important. Again, this is when you incorporate the booze in the cake if you wanted to, right? So Grand Marnier, uh, Limoncello, whatever you like inside your cake, right? Yeah, Grand Marnier, right? Who, who likes Grand Marnier? Okay, you can actually, I've actually put champagne in there. Okay, so, all right, so I got my bottom layer. Notice how the um, border of the 